Hey guys, it's Morgan Mitchell, and I'm back with another vlog. So this time, this is a pretty specific one. It's talking about some things that you can do either on campus at Wittenberg or locally. So that way, you're spending time with your friends, and you're getting to go out and explore community, which you may have lived in your entire life, or this could be a totally new experience for you. So I'm the general manager of the student-run radio station, which I'm currently sitting in. So if you hear strange music playing in the background, that's what it is. So Luso is a great way to express yourself live on air. And we also DJ some campus events. So you'll be hearing us and seeing us all around campus this year. We, you can listen live either on an actual radio or online. And I will have the link in the description below. We also have Union Board, which is one of the main people that put, well, main organization that puts on events. So we have WhitFest, which is uh, Union Board run. W Day is Union Board run. Build a Tiger. You're kind of getting the picture. We have what we call Wit Wednesdays. And sometimes we have a really cool activity. Other times people just go to Bada Bing's, which is a local pizza place. Or they go to McMurray's, which is the local bar. And, you know, just have a good time. Wit Wednesdays, you don't have to spend money. You don't have to drink. Wit Wednesdays is really all about just being around campus, being with your friends, building that sense of community that Wittenberg is known for, and just having fun. So another cool thing about campus is the fact that the library and the chapel are actually interconnected. So... When you're walking around the chapel and, like, you're coming from Hollenbeck Hall, if you look underneath what would be, like, normal chapel, you can see part of the third floor of the library. So the library actually goes underneath the chapel. I think that's cool. I'm just a, I'm just a huge nerd. So I find that really interesting. Um, so some other fun local things are Mike and Rosie's, which is a local deli. It is right across the street from the tennis courts, so it's... It's, pretty, it's a pretty easy walk. Just walk behind the Science Center, walk down either Bill Edwards and turn on to Plum, or go down Lowry, turn left on to McCrite, and then go straight across. It's right there. Um, another cool thing is we have the Springfield Museum of Art just right around campus. It's also kind of attached to Snyder Park and some other cool state parks. And just, you know, Springfield is a pretty easy town to walk around in if you have a group of people with you. I am just a huge advocate of walking in groups because, number one, you then have people to talk to while you're walking, and you don't always have to have your headphones in. But another cool thing is just checking out the local scenery of any campus is a lot more fun. Just go up to random people, talk to them. Okay, maybe don't talk to random people on the street, but, like, if you're on campus and you're lost... People at Wittenberg will talk to you. They will make sure you get to where you're going. Half the time, we're walking in the same direction anyway. Campus is really small. 80% of us have classes over in the Science Center or Hollenbeck, which is right next to each other. Um, there is Yellow Springs, which is a small hippie town, uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes away from campus. And they have Young's Jersey Dairy, which is the best ice cream I've ever had in my life. Young's also has putt-putt, it has a corn maze in the fall, it has goats, you get to play with goats, and by play with goats, you just get to pet them and feed them, which, you know, is basically feeding a goat, well, playing with a goat. Um, what else do we have going on in Springfield? We have the Heritage Center of Clark County in downtown Springfield. It is connected to Un Mundo Cafe, which is a campus favorite. We have the Frank Lloyd Wright's Westcott House, which is a really cool architecture building. I've never been there, but a lot of my friends have, and they love it. Another cool thing is Sip and Dippity Paint Bar. I don't know what you'd do if you're not 21 with that, because it's one of those, you go and you paint, and you drink wine, and you have a good time. So... Uh, we have just a whole bunch of really cool hiking places, and I love nature. I just don't like bees. So I typically wait until fall when 
the bees have gone back into hiding before I really go out on another hike, but I love it. Just campus is such a great place to be. Like you really don't have to leave campus unless you want to. So my advice to any new tigers is to just get out there, experience the world, and I can't wait to see you on campus. Bye!